The cashier gave me the empty paper cup. I ordered the Coke, but it was it was empty, and I was like, why? Resist. Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Eats. When I was in America, I saw a lot of things that wowed me, and then I really wish we had in Japan. So today. I'm gonna talk about some awesome American things Japan need. And if you want to support our channel, please check out our Patreon. And if you want to learn more about Japan, please follow me on Instagram. So, are you ready for Full Body Enta? So one day, Mr. Eat and I are going to a bank in the U.S. When Mr. Eat parked his car, it was not even a parking area. It was a bank drive-through, and there was a lady over there. She's our teller, I think, and she said, "How can I help you?" And I was, "What? Are we? Are we gonna stay in the car?" And then, eh? Then Mr. Eats、uh, took out his document, and there's a small capsule here. And then he opened the capsule box, and then put the document, and then put the capsule back, and he put the button, like a boom. The capsule shut up. What is going on? It looked like a future, but at the same time, the capsule thing is gigantic, and then the button thing is very retro. <laughs> at the same time, the concept is very futuristic, but the machine is very kind of old. So I was like so confused. And then all the procedures finished while we're in the car. In Japan, there's no drive-through banks. You have to go inside of the bank and then do all the procedure by yourself. Drive-through banking would be very helpful for business people. You know, they can finish their chores during lunchtime or something. I think that's very, very convenient and helpful. Not only that, you guys even have drive-through pharmacies, <laughs> and it's amazing that you guys can get your prescription or medicine. Without getting out of the car in Japan, you have to go into the pharmacy and give the prescription to the pharmacist, and you have to wait in the lobby area. If you are sick, you don't want to spread your sickness to other people by sitting in a small room, or you don't want to get sickness from other people, right? So I really think drive-through pharmacy makes sense a lot. Furnished apartments. In America, when you move to an apartment, usually the apartment comes with a washing machine, refrigerator, stoves, and you guys even have lights. I wish, I wish we have this system in Japan. If you rent an apartment here, you will get a, an empty room, literally empty room, nothing, no refrigerator, no stoves, no air conditioner, no lights. So in Japan, when you rent an apartment, you have to pay key money. Once you gave it to them, you don't get the money back. It's almost like a gift for the landlord. So if we have to pay key money, why can't we get basic things like stove, refrigerator, or lights? When Mr. Eats moved to an apartment in Japan, he didn't have anything, and of course. The apartment didn't have even lights, so when the night time came, he immediately went to sleep around 8 p.m. So he lived like a caveman. Garbage robber arm. This is very very convenient and very helpful for garbage men. When I was in America, I saw a big garbage truck, and I was watching the garbage truck from the behind. You know, I thought I really thought. There would be a, a garbage cleaning stuff coming out of the truck, and then pick up the garbage and then bring into the truck. But instead of stuff coming out from the truck, there was a big, gigantic robot arm came out of the truck, and the truck grabbed a tr big trash can and then shook the, all the trash into the truck, and then bring it back. It almost looked like an Evangelion is correcting the garbage. In Japan, people still have to go out of the garbage truck and then pick it up and then throw it in the garbage truck, which could be very dangerous. About 10 years ago, there was an old man, and then he was collecting all the garbage and into the truck, but he accidentally fell into the garbage truck and got crashed in it. And after those incidents. Of course, Japanese garbage trucks start having a, a emergency stop buttons at the back and at the front as well. But still, I think it's pretty dangerous for garbage collecting people. 
So I really think having those robot arm thing would help them a lot. Central AC. This is something Japan must learn from you guys. We were staying in Mr. Eat's parents' house. I almost forgot it was in the middle of the summer because inside the house is so cool everywhere. Even in the kitchen, even the bathroom, even in the you know, cloth washing areas. So cool and nice. And one night, I got very cold because of the uh, AC, right? And then I got up and then tried to find a controller of the AC in the room. And then I couldn't find it, but it got so cold, so I had to wake Mr. Eats up. Hey, Mr. Eats, sorry, but it's so cold, too cold. Where is the remote controller for the AC in this room? And Mr. E told me this is a central AC system. What is central AC system? And he took me to the uh, central AC controller area. Oh, wow. So in this panel, you can control whole house temperature. So I turned up the temperature and I went back to my room and then went back to sleep. If you come to Japan, you're gonna hate Japanese summer. First, if you stay at the Airbnb in Japan, they don't have central heating system or central AC system. So in the Airbnb, your living room will be probably very nice and cool, but your kitchen or washing machine area will be probably hot and steamy. Whoa, did you go out for a run or something? No, I just took a dump. Second thing you're gonna hate about Japanese summer is all the shopping mall and big stores are pretty hot inside. That's because our government is encouraging us to save electricity. So they created something called Kuru Biz. So for Kuru cool Biz, when you go to work, you don't have to wear a suit or you don't have to wear a tie. You can wear short sleeve shirts without tie. Shopping center and offices, they are not supposed to lower the temperature lower than 28 degrees. So when you go to a workplace or shopping malls, you are expecting inside to be cool, but it's not that cool. It's cool enough if you sit and don't move, but once you start moving around, you gotta start sweating. Drink refill. I love this drink refill system. When I went to one of my favorite fast food restaurants in America, Popeyes, I ordered a fried chicken combo. The cashier gave me the empty paper cup. I was like, what? I ordered Coke, but it was, it was empty. And I was like, why? Resist. So I was holding the paper cup and then this reminded me of a medical checkup that I took last year. Nurse gave me the empty cup and then said, please be in this cup. I'm so confused. I ordered Coke, medium size, but I, all they got, all I got was empty cup. Then Mr. East told me, hey, why don't you go get some drinks over there? There was a huge drink machine. It was so big. It's almost like a theme park or something. And I thought, what? Okay, I'll get my drink. Mr. East told me, uh, by the way, you can refill your drink as much as you like. <gasps> really? If I had this free refill drink system when I was younger, I would have stayed there from all day there, working, studying, and then drinking a bunch of sodas and stuff. That's my dream come true. In Japanese fast food restaurant, there is no free drink refill system at all. If you wanna another cup of Coke, you have to pay extra. Free refill drink system doesn't exist in normal regular restaurants in Japan. America, why are you guys so generous? And I know some of you are not American. Do you have free refill drink system in your country? Please let me know in the comment below. Cashless, I think this is something America is so advanced. So in America, you can buy everything with just a cash card or Apple Pay. So one day I was waiting in the line to get some Mexican food in the food truck. And then there was a lady in front of me was buying a one bottle of water, which cost like $2. And then she, I thought I was expecting she would use her coins or, you know, cash. 
but instead she pulled out her cash card and then swiped it. Wow, even those, you know, small food truck can accept credit card? <laughs> that is amazing! For Japanese, usually small restaurants, food truck, oh no, 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 they don't accept credit card. When you come to Japan, you probably need to bring some cash and coins. Of course, bigger cities have more cashless options, but I would say smaller cities, smaller prefectures, they still prefer cash. So Japanese people usually carry about $200 to $300 in their pocket. Interestingly, we went to a pizza place, and I thought we could pay by credit card. So Mr. Eats went and asked the uh, cashier lady, and then she said, Sorry, we don't accept any credit card, only cash! Wow, even those modern looking nice pizza restaurants still don't accept credit card. I was very surprised. So this shows how Japan is still kind of cash's number one country. Free food at restaurants. When Mr. Eat and I went to a Mexican restaurant in America, before we order, the staff brought us some salsa and chips. Then I thought, it, I, we didn't order anything yet. And Mr. Eats told me, oh, this is free. Are you lying to me? Do you want me to go to jail? They also give you a free refill sometimes. Really? How much more, America, do you want to spoil me? We don't have this system in Japan. If you go to a Japanese pub, they will bring you a little bit of food to your table, but it's actually charged on your bill. Some of you might think, what? We are charged for something we didn't order? Don't worry. A lot of Japanese people think the same way as you think. So one Japanese professor asked his student to take a survey that how they think about tsukidashi culture in Japan. A lot of them say they don't like it so much. You know why? First, they don't like to be charged by something that they didn't order. And second, what if the tsukidashi includes something that you cannot eat or you are allergic to it? You know, it's gonna be a total waste. And I read that some tourists from overseas, they also got very confused about this tsukidashi system. So I heard that there were quite a few incidents between Japanese pub owners and uh, tourists from overseas. And I think it's also partly Japanese uh, pub owners' responsibility to tell them, you know, this is tsukidashi, you are charged, you know, like uh, putting a same like a small sign or something. So everyone, please let me know some awesome things about your country in the comment below. Alright everyone, I will see you in the next video. Okini!